Hello everyone and welcome to a new video game related video. As you can see here, I have got my hands on a box of the Super Mario cereal. And this is from a uh, friend of mine on Twitter. Thank you very much, at Delita High Rail, also known as Ollie Mac Munchy Coopers. And you can follow him on Twitter and check out his blog there as he attempts to complete his video game backlog. But you may also notice that I have a box of Lucky Charms here. And that's because um, with this cereal that came out in the States a couple of months ago, people said it's just another version of Lucky Charms. And being that I live in Australia, one, I'm a few months behind everyone else on getting this cereal, but two, I've never had Lucky Charms. So I am going to be doing a blind taste test today. So in a moment, I'll be pouring out some of each of the cereal, and then my beautiful assistant slash partner, Rod, will be taking the bowls away. I'll be blindfolding myself and doing a completely blind tasting of these two, figuring out which is better, which is worse, or if they are just diabetes inducing. So I am going to um, pour out the Mario cereal first, and you can see that here. And there are some activities on the back, including some trivia questions and a maze. And so, so there's lots to enjoy there. And on the front here is this amiibo, which I haven't tried out yet, but you can scan it into the game. Or maybe it's here? I'm not sure. It says see the back for details, so um, I'll have some fun with that later. So let's open that up. I know, I'm destroying the collectible value. There we go. There we go. Now it says on the side that a serving is one cup. Uh, I'm only going to be pouring out half a cup, and even then I'm not going to eat at all. And um, I can see already here I've got some of the some of the various shapes, like uh, fire flowers and... Is there a fire flower? Actually, I can't even tell what that... Ah, the different coloured mushrooms, okay. So, let's open that up. Mmm, mmm, and straight away I'm getting the aroma of icing sugar, or what would be called powdered sugar in the States. So, let's pour out half a cup of this, make sure I get some marshmallows in there. Lovely, I have. Num num num. Right, so that's going in the bowl there. Okay, so, it's time then to close that up. And to have a look at these Lucky Charms. Okay, so, Again, I gather this is a staple breakfast cereal in America. Um, there are some activities here on the back as well related to the different shapes. So there's mazes, there's find a four leaf clover, uh, what year was the hourglass charm released. I tried these earlier and I completely failed dismally, so I have no idea. And again, I'm just going to be pouring out. Now uh, that's interesting. I can already look at this and see that there seems to be a higher ratio of marshmallows in this to the, to the sort of oaty shapes. Yes, oat cereal it says here. So let's open that up. And the smell to me actually seems a bit more oaty with this one. So that's interesting. So let's pour that out there. Yeah, there's definitely more marshmallows in this one. There we go. So yeah, you can see here, these are the Lucky Charms and there's a lot of marshmallows in there. Whereas if I come over here to the Mario cereal, yeah, there's fewer marshmallows. And also the oat shapes here are kind of star-shaped, whereas over here there's various hollow shapes happening. But anyway, let's get on with the milk. Here it is with the Lucky Charms. And here it is with the Mario cereal. Now, Rod, if you wouldn't mind coming in and taking these away, please. Rod is not a dentist, so we can't show you his face. And I'm going to blindfold myself. And once I have blindfolded myself, Rod is just going to bring me back um, a random cereal, one of the two. I'm not going to know which is which at the beginning here. So I'm just going to grab my spoon. There's a spoon. And Rod, could you please bring me the first cereal? Thank you. Here goes. I haven't eaten blindfolded in a while, so... Um... Okay, so that is quite sweet. It was surprisingly sweet as soon as I put it in. 
Um, and I kind of got the marshmallow too as well. I'm getting an aftertaste. I'm just going to have to have another spoonful to pinpoint that. Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting an aftertaste of, um, I don't know if you have it in America or in the UK, but when I was a kid there were these kind of, um, fluoro pink and fluoro green popcorn that you could buy. And that's the kind of aftertaste I'm getting from this, so I think that's just the sugar. Okay, so that's number one, and at this stage I have no idea if that's, um, what that is. I think Rob's just taken that away. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick smell of some coffee, because that cleanses, sort of cleanses your palate. And also, I hate coffee, so that kind of helps. So now I have a new spoon, and uh, Rock, could you bring me the second bowl, please? Right. Okay, so here we go. Now, in this one, I'm still getting that very, very sweet taste, but the marshmallows are a lot softer, and I can sort of, um, I can sort of distinguish more flavours, it's not just sweet. Uh, the first one, I kind of realise now as I'm eating this one, the first one was kind of chalky, whereas this is a bit smoother. So I'm just going to have, because I had two mouthfuls, so the first one I'll have two mouthfuls of this one. Hopefully I'll be even getting cereal, I may not get any cereal in this mouthful. Only you can tell me. Mmm! I got cereal. Great. Right. Yeah, the freshness kind of wears off after the first bite. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll put number two there. And Rod, right, could you bring back number one and put it um, next to number two here? Thank you. Now, as is a blind taste test, I'm going to pick a winner, and it's going to be the second one is the winner of the, it's the better cereal, in my opinion. And now I'm going to find out whether that is the Mario cereal or the Lucky Charms. It's the Lucky Charms. I can't say I am completely surprised. Uh, as I say, this seems to have been a staple in America for decades. And so they've had a lot of time to refine the formula, but just there's there's more in it. There's more actual marshmallows in here, which is the defining feature. Whereas this Mario cereal, I suppose, is just a promotional item. I know that um, I know that Ollie Mac, my friend, had trouble getting uh, me any, and then had to wait for a second shipment. When I say that the Lucky Charms are better than the Mario cereal, it's like kind of choosing expensive chocolate versus cheap chocolate, you know, it's both chocolate, but even then, these are both like super sweet cereals. So if you like super sweet cereals, you won't go far wrong with either, and certainly, you know, this is something marketed at kids. I imagine most kids would be happy eating either of these. I notice as this is a smaller box, but it probably costs more because it's a limited item. But, um, yeah, I probably haven't surprised absolutely anyone with this video discovering that the Lucky Charms are better than the Super Mario cereal. I'm a big Mario fan, I'm kind of disappointed. It would have been nice if they put in a bit more effort, but there you go. Um, as it is, I'm gonna finish these and, um, maybe go into a food coma. So, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. I know you're not. <laughs> not allowed. I'm not allowed. I want them. Oh, you want them. <laughs> you're gonna hate that. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's a bucket of sugar. Look, I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> Fine, I'll have the Mario one. Good night, everyone. What is that stuff? It's a marshmallow. It's like sherbet. <laughs> yeah, but it's a marshmallow, but it's got sugar. It's like half and half. Mm. It's like a marshmallow on top and sugar down the bottom. Yeah, well, you hate marshmallows. I don't know why you're eating it.
It's there. Look, it's gone all green. <laughs> Turn the, the milk green. Jesus. You can't even finish it. <laughs> it is, look, it's it is, green. It is green. It is green. Mm. Well, now we know where Luke Skywalker gets his green milk, or what he does with it anyway. Break free.